1926.605, Marine Operations and Equipment. 1926.605, A, Material Handling Operations. 1926.605, A, 1, Operations fitting the definition of material handling shall be performed in conformance with applicable requirements of Part 1918 Safety and Health Regulations for longshoring of this chapter. The term longshoring operations means the loading, unloading, moving, or handling of construction materials, equipment and supplies, etc. Into, in, on, or out of any vessel from a fixed structure or shore to vessel, vessel to shore or fixed structure or vessel to vessel. 1926.605, b. Access to barges. 1926.605, b. 1. Ramps for access of vehicles to or between barges shall be of adequate strength, provided with sideboards, well maintained, and properly secured. 1926.605, b. 2. Unless employees can step safely to or from the wharf, float, barge, or river towboat, either a ramp, meeting the requirements of paragraph, B. 1. Of this section, or a safe walkway, shall be provided. 1926.605. B. 3. Jacob's ladders shall be of the double rung or flat tread type. They shall be well maintained and properly secured. 1926.605. B. 4. A Jacob's ladder shall either hang without slack from its lashings or be pulled up entirely. 1926.605. B. 5. When the upper end of the means of access rests on or is flush with the top of the bulwark, substantial steps properly secured and equipped with at least one substantial handrail approximately 33 inches in height, shall be provided between the top of the bulwark and the deck. 1926.605 b. 6. Obstructions shall not be laid on or across the gangway. 1926.605 b. 7. The means of access shall be adequately illuminated for its full length. 1926.605, b. 8. Unless the structure makes it impossible, the means of access shall be so located that the load will not pass over employees. 1926.605, c. Working surfaces of barges. 1926.605, c. 1. Employees shall not be permitted to walk along the sides of covered lighters or barges with combings more than 5 feet high unless there is a three-foot clear walkway, or a grab rail, or a taut handline is provided. 1926.605, c. 2, decks and other working surfaces shall be maintained in a safe condition. 1926.605, c. 3, employees shall not be permitted to pass fore and aft, over, or around deck loads, unless there is a safe passage. 1926.605, c. 4, Employees shall not be permitted to walk over deck loads from rail to combing unless there is a safe passage. If it is necessary to stand at the outboard or inboard edge of the deck load where less than 24 inches of bulwark, rail, combing, or other protection exists, all employees shall be provided with a suitable means of protection against falling from the deck load. 1926.605 D. First Aid and Life Saving Equipment. 1926.605 D. 1. Provisions for rendering first aid and medical assistance shall be in accordance with subpart D of this part. 1926.605 D. 2. The employer shall ensure that there is in the vicinity of each barge in use at least one U.S. Coast Guard approved 30 inch life ring with not less than 90 feet of line attached, and at least one portable or permanent ladder which will reach the top of the apron to the surface of the water. If the above equipment is not available at the pier, the employer shall furnish it during the time that he is working the barge. 1926.605 D. 3. Employees walking or working on the unguarded decks of barges shall be protected with U.S. Coast Guard approved work vests or buoyant vests. 1926.605 E. Commercial diving operations. Commercial diving operations shall be subject to subpart T of part 1910, 1910.401 to 1910.441 of this chapter.